So once again, I'm prepared to do a little bit of bandos. Look at this. I'm using now anglerfish instead of crabs because it's only 400 GP difference and I can overheal with these. Now the drops that I will be getting actually are not gonna go to my bank value like I usually like to see it increasing. I want to spend a little bit more money on construction specifically on the spellbook swap. That apparently costs 13 million to build. You also need level 90 construction for that so I think I will not be going for any more boost because it's so annoying to get that plus 5. This is a simulation on discord where you can type in plus kill let's say 100 bandos and it would simulate if I would kill 100 bandos what I should expect to get of course this is all for fun it doesn't affect any drop rates in the actual game please do have a there's no ah oh, there's one bandos boots so ah oh, this is so demotivating because now if I go for 100 kills it's like well this guy this bot did not get anything wait let's go for one more I want to get some motivation from this okay there's one chest plate so 200 kills for one chest plate oh my god it's not motivating for me at all wait i'm gonna go for one more i want to see like a couple of them <gasps> there's nothing it's terrible last one my god okay so in what was it 400 kills now two boots and one bandos chest plate god damn it dude whoa okay let's see how many charges i have i think this is going to be enough for approximately 100 kills and my current kill count is 281 so let's go for 381 and get our own loot tab oh dude this is so nice now i'm gonna teleport to the house usually what i would do i would just eat up at the bank but now everything it is so satisfying to see all of these numbers go up i can definitely tell the difference at bandos now since i got those defense levels up because once he uses the range attack i'm not getting hit as much also i just did three kills one two three and look at all the food that i have so i'm thinking maybe taking a little bit more bruise next time uh, but also need a second super combat potion because if after every kill I drink Santa Bruce I also need super combat potion then now at the moment I didn't manage to get too many kills So I'm gonna go ahead and sell like the rest of the stuff that I have that I'm currently not using because now It's very difficult to find a world. So I'm gonna Continue tomorrow when I wake up in the morning, but I do have 40 mil. So why not? Uh, you know <laughs> Why not spend some of them on mahogany planks? So once again, let's go forward. How much is this? A little bit overshot on this one. I think last time I bought 12k or so. No, the only time I don't record something. I was messing around with these items in the Grand Exchange. Let's just cancel this one because it's clearly not selling. Look, I'm going to show you Dragon. The medium price is 52.7 million. I still need the Warhammer, but as a joke, I was like, you know, maybe maybe someone's going to overpay for this. 54.8 mil. It's pretty much 55 mil, but I'm wondering how much it's sold for because it's sold instantly. 55.1 what is going on with the water hammer five mil in like one day literally look this bought it for 51.2 mil it's still in my history and then i sold it for 55.1 my god free money uh that was a quick money how much is this thing <laughs> look at this wow i love overnight like like i just woke up this is the next day for me overnight i could just leave certain items and it seems to work. Okay, from this point, I decided to get more construction levels. I was 82, and I pretty much did not have any goal. I just wanted to get it as high as I could without spending too much money. So I would stop probably at approximately 87 or something. That means I don't really need to use any more spicy stews for any boosts. I could just use a tea that you can make in your own house and just use a crystal saw. So let's say my goal was to make the altar where you can swap spell books. It's really amazing because you don't have to teleport anywhere. You don't have to teleport to Delica and go through all these ships and then go to the astral altar. You don't have to use the camlet or the staff, the, the, the scepter. That's like 8 mil nowadays. Are you kidding me? That's so expensive. Eventually, I got to 87 construction, which cost me a lot of money. That was like another 25 million that I had to spend on this. So my bank value keeps decreasing. Uh, in my previous video was 240 million then it dropped down to 210 mil 
and now I was left with like 180 mil. Now, not only that costs a lot of money, I also had to, to buy the scepter, which was 8 mil, like I said, and uh, a bunch of like gold leaves and stones. That added up to additional, probably minimum like 16 million, just for a couple of things that I wanted to build. And you just click on it and it swaps. And I was like, maybe there is a limit or something per day, but no, I just kept swapping between spellbooks. And it's all in one altar. Because there are like three different altars, but you can eventually combine it all in one. It was the most amazing feeling ever. I need ancients to burst something like monkeys? No problem. I don't have to think of a way of oh, teleport to Polinevich, maybe walk all the way to the pyramid. So I was thinking what else I could build. Ah, the jewelry box. Also never had one before because like I said, I was playing Iron Man most of my last three or four years and I just never had such high construction to make it. So after I built the jewelry box, I don't know. It feels like I could just pull Amulet of Glory from my bank and just teleport somewhere. Or uh, pull a dual ring and teleport. How do people even use this? Like, do you guys teleport to the house if you need to go to Dual Arena, let's say? Do you every time teleport to your house and then rub it? Because it feels like much slower that way. Uh, the cool thing is, though, that it does have the last destination that you used. So you can right-click the box and you can just click on it without opening the whole menu. Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, because I thought, okay, this is again, I was like, again it's going to the peak time, goddammit, I will not be able to do any more Banos kills tonight, I'm like, another day, there's nothing, because you, okay, wait, 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 we're not dying on this one. The best drop that I can receive from Banos, look at that! I'll pick it up, I'll pick it up, because it happened before, I think I had a Godsword shot and I died, but let's sell the tacids because i will not be needing them i i really needed that because even if i bank everything that i have now including my gear it's not bad holy 210 mil but it is not 244 that i had so it's still even if i would get another tassies only then i would get all my money back that i spent on 87 construction you know previously when i saw the price of ranging potions i was like oh my god this is so awesome pvming is not gonna cost anything if i'm doing zelra or vorkat or whatever but now i'm actually thinking about leveling up my herblore because i would love to get to level 90 and uh try to do some solo raids maybe team raids i don't know but i want to get that purple chest and i want to i never had one can you believe that i never a single time in my life I had a purple chest because I never did raids. I only did it when they were released. So now when I look at these dwarf weed potions unfinished, they're 705 GP, which is not much. I'm going to buy maybe 4,000 since I need to get to 77 and then I can make the stamina potions, which is way more AFK. Now, how much is wine of Zamora? Because we have to combine. Oh my God, dude, you're losing a lot of money. You're pretty much losing what I'm buying right now in the Grand Exchange, which is I'm going to buy 4,000. I'm gonna lose all of this and a little bit of that too because the final product is only 300 gp jesus it is very expensive you can't even buy them so let's go ahead and see how much experience all of these potions are going to give me target level is 77 i think or is it 78 so i can make the stamina potions and here we are it should say that i can make now the new potion stamina pots beautiful look at this i got uh, some left over but i will not be using them i'm gonna take them as a node but also these ranging potions <laughs> they're only one million wait don't tell me that's a limit for super energies no way dude buy limit is 2000 really you know i find it weird how some items just don't make any sense on the limits that you can buy let's say onyx amulet limit it's apparently 10,000. Like, that's never going to happen. Okay, this was absolutely terrible. I don't want to finish these crystals that I have remaining. I was getting approximately 260k XP an hour compared to 400k that I was getting with Zami Wines. Now, eventually it evened out at approximately 350k, but that's still 100k more XP an hour. And I don't even know if, like, how much money do you even lose? So you need four of these as well. The total price to make one stamina potion is 7.5k. So how much do I get back in return? It's not much. To be honest, uh, it, it's pretty good. 
you're getting you would get one mil herblood experience and it would only cost you 10 million the problem is that uh the problem is that the xp an hour doesn't increase eventually it just stays the same no matter if you're level 90 95 it's just the same while if i would make other potions let's say santa brews it would increase the xp of course compared to what is bashing potion what the hell is that <laughs> never seen that before what the hell 